Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought. Until now, after decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth-generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment. 
1947. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. Find out what that was. I hear you. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Try not to get in my way, all right? What's that command? Oh, okay, all right. Okay, continue in search. Hey! <laughs> Come on out. Ugh, I bet Gary lost this. Such a dick. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map, Tamman. Any news on the new guard assigned a codename Pinky? I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. 
I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dawood Rangan. You know? I've got someone on the ground. I'm moving in. I just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mama about the shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both of them. Seems to be the problem here. I need you to stand up. Let's go. Shit! Can you tell me anything about who we're looking for? What the hell? Whoa, that's reckless behavior, buddy. Can't tolerate that. Both hands behind your head and interlock the fi- oh. Not on my way. Hmm, a calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. Damn it, a silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Good, we're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Building cameras are now disabled. Good work, the meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy? Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. We tolerate no trespasses. Alpha eyes on some arsehole throwing shit on people. Oi, you! Ugh.
You need to act fast before those bastards evacuate. Head for the helipad. gonna miss oh. awesome. they've left the helipad their last chance is by parachute make sure that doesn't happen Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision-makers. 
Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children Younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh. Huh? We might have a situation. Sweeping area, over. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. 
Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Sorry, sir. Oh, no! Please don't! Oh, Jesus Christ! Security! You need to deal with this guy right away! Hey! Huh? You should be doing your job! Hey, what's going on? Seems like we have a troublemaker out there. Okay, thank you, thank you. You've done your part. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up oh, alive. Dear. But then the awful business with her Sir, brother Zachary. And, and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and... Uh, and I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. You have to be Looking patted today, down before sir. you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. This is just standard procedure. Just a formality. Thank you for your cooperation. Go and see what that was. Go, go. Roger that. Hey! What's going on? I... I think we need a doctor here. You're gonna be fine, okay? He was wearing blue or grey jeans, a brown shirt. Hello? Is anyone there? Who's throwing stuff around? This is pissing me off. That's gonna... <clears throat> what are you doing with that body? Patrick Oz. I'm not interested in someone who bosses you around like that. I'm fine. It's all fine. Sam, can't you no, maybe we should get back uh, to... Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Holy shit! Bollocks! Find the plane. Stand for us. You're on your own side now. Understood. The longer it's still gone, the more vulnerable we are. Easy now. Take it easy. Yeah, whatever. Gotta dig this place. Ancestral graveyard, trophy room, and the office safe is hidden behind a portrait with a secret mechanism for uncovering it. Uh, it's got real soul. First time here. Safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Move out. Search within the perimeter. Received and understood. She just clams up when I try to get an explanation. Not even an apology. The forty one guests will attend the funeral tomorrow. Back from the dead, a make believe funeral, a murder mystery. Oh, all too much. Jeez. wins the race, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
news, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have any extra food. You go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nothing over here either. Remain calm. Let us take it from here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whose weapon is that? Oh! Oh, sounds like the power's back up. Why don't you take a picture to test it? It works. I'm ready for the shoot. Perfect. I'll call the family down now, then. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the green Kingsley yesterday. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things I expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room after. Right, get in position. Let's get this over. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? You stay here. I'll take a look. Okay, thanks. Huh? Chin up, Edward. Okay. No one wants to look at that long face. <laughs> Mission complete. Well done, 47. Don't 
respond, but just listen. Diana can't help you now. You need to find Olivia. She will know what to do. <laughs> I wish there had been more time. And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now, it's my turn. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? ICA. They tracked me. Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset in a whole pack of up-and-comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Christ, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. Back and let me deal with it. Thanks. I'm gonna stay right here. Central, 
We're all good here. Out. Training order. Uh, I think it might be him. Could you go see if it's him? Sure. Don't hit me! Oh! No. No. Check. Oh! Command, how do you read me? Over. I've got a dead individual here. Oh my god! It's Agent Swan checking in. Uh To be sharper. It's me, the hunter report. Keep looking, he'll turn up. or you'll get sloppy. And clearly, he's not making that mistake. Reading, five by five.
Another life lost. Aim. Please don't. Ah. Copy? We got a stick. Oh. We might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over. Tango, move to my position. 
I've been waiting for this. Surrender. <laughs> Debacle, you'll be the laughing stocks of the ICA. Jesus, pull yourselves together. He is only one guy. Oh, my food's here. Get a hurl. Are you still there? We got him. It's time to move in. Don't let him slip through your fingers. No games. No cat and mouse. Just get it done. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Gray said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. but not broken. I'm glad. It's time we start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. 
Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him, way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to men. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public... You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kedanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce, the proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core, and I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. Trip. You went to Norway, right? Did you see the light? 
What irresponsible person left a weapon line? I can't see him! Gary lost this.
makes no sense. Well, the more security, the better. Command, I'm looking at what appears to be an accident. Yes, sir, will do. Out. This day just keeps getting some better. Help over here. Damn you, Hush. This is ridiculous, Roy. I didn't touch this. Please, you get hell up. Aha. You are good. My turn. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core 47. What is this?
Access denied. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. If you had the right dongle, you could what hack that panel 47. Left a weapon lying around. My neck is really tense. I've been on drone duty for later. No heavy way. buggers when they're Never not doing the flying themselves. That oh, shit tell me about it's it. One smoke. No, I don't see why we can't use yeah. animals. What? The fumes, I mean. You think we can reroute them? Nah, only just a joke. Let's move in and take a look. I understand. No, don't do that! Good, you're alone. I'm sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. It's all here. Clients, operatives, Every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disorder. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. I choose him. The two of you go way back. I didn't realize that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. Maybe it's time for a change. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Safety detected. Lockdown commencing. Shit, I missed that. We're blown 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the vents to get out. Go, Man. now. All personnel, breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning, core overheating. Warning, core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning, fire detected. Command area is all clear. Please advise, over. All personnel, Breach protocol initiated. Warning, core overheating.
security protocol overruled. Shell causing shockwaves across the world. The so called ICA files. The disclosure of a. You win. So. What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation. Just like old times. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to see my like... Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Oh, cut, Neil. What? Jeez, can you believe these people? What was I that? think the whole world is their place. Okay. Don't let Buddy. get to you, Pam. Give me your trash can. Let's just take it from the top. Fine. You're right. Ready, Pam? Is that in porpoise? 
Oh, yes. It's Aaron, just from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the file. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access out the server to print everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... Right. Sorry, sir. I'll be right inside. Damn. I think I'm one of those British guards who will me. My shoulders get all tense. Send Jorge over right. now. Bien. Okay, okay. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. Ah, I'm no good at this. Okay. I will make a big. Somebody's on the ground. Don't be crude. Pay attention. Yates wants us on high alert. We've been at this for months. Ever since the 1% killings began. Nothing's gonna happen. I know. But when you start thinking like... Let's move! I'm back. Hey, listen, I know it sounds cliche, but it turns out it was nothing. I don't know. Probably keep something weird inside. Don't let him get me. Okay. Don't you remember? It was a huge scandal. One of those whatever gate. Doesn't ring a bell. So maybe get to the career dip. Find out what that was. I get it. No problem. Doesn't ring a bell. So maybe get to the career dip. Oh, 
Sì, sono io. Sto cercando un strano sound. Perché è questo? I'm gonna eat all your bullets. You wanna see? Excuse me, I found this. I'm sure you must have a lost and found. Why does this always happen? Why does this always... All right. You're on the clock, Aaron. Dazzle me. What do we got on Burnwood? She's an orphan. Parents killed by one of our clients. Blue Seed Pharmaceuticals. The experience taught her to seek justice outside the system. Would you like me to go through her records? They're quite extensive. Well, somebody did their homework. No, just her involvement in the 1% killings. Starting with our clients. Details, please. The gorier, the better. Well, here's one that might interest you. Janus, a retired KGB spy master, is eliminated in... Parcero.
understood why people. Oh, Oh God. Temperature and humidity. You can hear me. Make a sound. Tell me you did it. Tell me you did it. I Yo of Kronstadt. I dare say congratulations. Strike at the heart. Edwards, you know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but 
I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the Apex Predator. Always hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract to shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edward's, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past.
We need to find a catchy name for it. For when we go commercial, I mean. You figure this thing has commercial applications? Who'd want to have their minds wiped? Not wiped, obviously. But that's just fine-tuning. Okay, right now, the theory... Someone on the ground. Hold on. Don't you go ahead. Yeah. Last time I saw weather like this, I was doing extreme condition training near the army base of Pat. Oh. and bought this train.
Chopper. Ridiculous. Suppose there's any point calling for help? No. Seems I brought this on myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. 
Well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. resignations at the top level of international finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hamden Oil, while the new founder Tim Quinn and a bunch of other people step down. It's been a long time. Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back. 